for the University of Ibadan, Nigeria. So it is anyone's game because the ultimate challenge is worth 500 points. Jomo Kenyatta University, you won the toss and chose to choose our first category. Have a look at our four final categories, and they are closest African capitals, classical music, the farmer's alphabet, tea time. Tea time, please. Tea time it is. Take a deep breath, gentlemen. Identify these historical people, places, and things that begin with the letter T. And seconds away, 1984 Nobel Peace Prize winner. Tutu. Is correct. In 14 AD, he's Tiberias. a... Yes. The Phoenicians founded this African capital Tire. called... No. Polynesian island visited by HMS Bounty in 1789. Tonga. No. Chinese gate of heavenly peace that was not peaceful in... 19... No. In 1974, this country... Yes. The airway came to this country in the 14th century. Tuvalu. No. Surname shared by politicians Kristen of Zambia and JZU of Malawi. Pass. The tea invented in the 18th century. Yes. In 1965, Che Guevara crossed this lake to enter the DRC. Pass. Pass. The Phoenicians founded this... Tunisia? No. The Polynesian island visited by HMS Bounty in 1789. Pass. Tonga? No. China's Gate of Heavenly Peace. Gentlemen. Yes. The airway came to this country in the 14th century. Tunisia? No. Surname shared by politicians Kristen. Time's up. You answered five questions correctly, giving you a total of 250 in the ultimate challenge and a grand total of 530. Yes, Let's have a look at the ones that you got wrong. Founded by the Phoenicians, Tripoli. Island visited by HMS Bounty, Tahiti. Country of the Airway, Togo. Kristen and JZU Tembo. And finally, Lake Crossed by Che Guevara, Tanganyika. The University of Ibadan, Nigeria, at this point with a total of 280, you are 250 points behind and you need six correct answers, six correct answers, six correct answers to emerge as outright winners. Of the three remaining categories, which might you choose? Farmer's alphabet. The farmer's alphabet it is. Gentlemen, take a deep breath. Given the starting letter and a clue, name the term from agriculture and seconds away, the E is the loss of Russian. Russian. Yes. The S is green fodder that is stored. Silo. No. H, naming a cow that has borne no more than one cow. Yeah. Yes. The M that is a rhyme. Yes. The F is used Fungi. to. No. The C is the white strand that anchors an eggs yolk. No. This N is the elemental. Nitrogen. Yes. This P is sterilized by heating, then quickly. Pasteurized. Yes. This E is the gas produced by plants. Yes, I know. No. This R Remain. is the Yes. This S is green Silage. fodder. Yes. This F is used to kill molds and mushrooms. Fungicide. Yes. This C is the white strand that anchors an eggs yolk. Cholesterol. No. This E is the gas produced by plants that ripens fruit. If I if I need. No. This C is... Strong. No. This E is the gas produced by Ethane. plants. No. This C is the white strand that anchors an eggs yolk. <laughs> the University of Ibadan, Nigeria. You answered eight questions correctly, giving you a total of 400 in the ultimate challenge and a grand total of 680, making the University of Ibadan, Nigeria, the winner of today's Zane Africa Challenge. <laughs> Let's look at the two that you got wrong. Egg, yolk, anchor, chalaza. Gas that ripens fruit, ethylene. Jomo Kenyatta University, Kenya, what is there to say except bad luck on the day? Pole, pole ni sana. We have to say goodbye to you. You'll be taking away 1,000 US dollars each plus 
$10,000 as an institutional grant for your university. The University of Ibadan, Nigeria. Ekushe, well done, well won. We look forward to seeing you in the quarterfinals. You're still in the running to take away the prestigious Zane Scholars Trophy and as outright winners, 5,000 US dollars each and 50,000 US dollars for your university, all courtesy of Zane. In our next game, Mzumbe University, Tanzania, takes on Mbarara University from Uganda in the international inter-university battle of brains that is the Zane Africa Challenge. Do join us again. From all of us here, it's bye-bye. Till next time.